foveated AR, dynamically foveated augmented reality display. Human vision spans a 180 degree field of view. To match the maximum visual acuity of 2020 vision, a near eye display must have over 400 megapixel resolution. By tracking a user's gaze, we can save bandwidth, power, and resolution by displaying low resolution in the user's peripheral vision while maintaining high resolution in the user's fovea. We achieve this by combining a high resolution display for the fovea with a low resolution projector for the periphery. By tracking the gaze location, we steer the optical paths from both displays to maintain a high quality image on the retina. We contribute a dynamically foveated, near-eye augmented reality display that closely matches human visual acuity. This is a rendering of our wearable prototype. Our foveated AR display optically combines light from two displays, a high-resolution, small field of view, foveal display, and a large field of view, low-resolution, peripheral display. Our concept includes these labeled components. In green, we visualize the optical path of the peripheral display. The holographic optical element refracts light to create a Maxwellian viewpoint of the display at the pupil center. With a 12 millimeter dynamic eye box, the design covers a diagonal field of view of over 100 degrees. We visualize the optical path of the foveal display. The light rays of the micro OLED are reflected by a half mirror and delivered to the user's eye by an image combiner. We use infrared LEDs to illuminate the eye invisible to the user for eye tracking. The infrared camera captures the user's eye on axis through the half mirror. In this animation, we visualize the movable parts of the augmented reality glasses. Our display design includes a linear stage for moving the HOE and the micro OLED on a slider along the horizontal axis accordingly to the gaze direction of the user. A motor drives a double threaded screw that moves the micro OLED and HOE at a specified travel ratio. This diagram shows dynamic eye box expansion enabled by our HOE shifting method. Previously, Yang et al. proposed a similar eye box expansion method by moving the effective projector location using a MEMS mirror. Compared to their method, our HOE shift method provides a larger eye box at the given field of view. We made three different image combiners which provide 60, 40, and 30 cycles per degree resolution in the foveal region. To verify our idea, we built an optical bench prototype and a wearable prototype. For the wearable prototype, instead of a motorized stage, we used a thumb screw to enable manual horizontal motion of the displays. We measured the MTF of the foveal and peripheral display. The foveal display provided 30, 40, and 60 cycles per degree. Our peripheral display provides sufficient resolution for far peripheral vision up to 42 degrees of eccentricity for a total field of view of 82 degrees. With the dynamic eye box technique, the prototype covers plus minus 20 degrees gaze angle while preserving resolution and field of view. To correctly register foveal and peripheral displays, we calibrated color and geometry of both displays against each other. For intensity and color, we measure each display's output with a spectral radiometer and rescale the color output to the overlapping gamut. For smooth transition between foveal and peripheral displays, a blending using linearly increasing Gaussian blur is applied to the transition region. Here we show the display results from our prototypes. This is a video of the moving foveal inset without the blending applied. With activated blending, the discontinuities between foveal display and peripheral display are removed. The prototype covers plus minus 20 degrees gaze rotation. Our benchtop prototype also supports accommodation. The foveal plane is moving back and forth by moving the micro display and shows clear defocus when the camera focus is changing. This full color picture shows the matching focus and defocus of our display with the rendered content. Our work demonstrates that a compact foveated AR headset is feasible.